Hello everyone, we're back here with another hardware introduction video. This time for one of Microtech's newest and most interesting Ethernet routers, the CCR2004 16G 2S Plus. This Ethernet router, which is the second device in Microtech's CCR2004 series, has recently been launched and is currently priced at $465 US dollars. Similar to all Microtech CCR Ethernet routers, the letter CCR at the beginning of its product code stands for Cloud Core Router, and the following number 2 shows that this router belongs to the 2XXX series of Ethernet routers. The number 04 indicates that this router has 4 CPU cores. Moreover, 16G tells us that this router comes with 16 Gigabit Ethernet ports, and the characters 2S Plus stand for the number of SFB Plus ports on this device. On the front, you first have the two SFB Plus ports. Next, you have two sets of 8 Gigabit Ethernet ports, as well as an RJ45 serial console port and a Type-A USB 3 port. On the back, the CCR2004 16G 2S Plus has two power supplies that have the hot swap feature. In case of failure, hot swap power supply units, as you can see in this real-life image, can be removed and replaced one by one as your router is up and running. And eventually, this cloud core router comes with two active cooling fans that keep your hardware in top operational shape. With regard to specifications, if you refer to the product specific page of this cloud core router, you can see that this device enjoys a quad core 1.7 GHz CPU that uses the more advanced ARM64 bit architecture. It should be noted that apart from having a level 6 router OS license, this CCR2004 as a future generation cloud core router only works with the version 7 router OS and cannot be downgraded to a previous version. This device has a 4GB RAM and a 120MB NAND local storage. Its effective lifetime is about 200,000 hours. It operates between minus 20 to 60 degrees Celsius and it also supports IPsec hardware acceleration that can be used for purposes of traffic encryption. In terms of powering, this router has two AC inputs, its maximum power consumption travels between the 35 to 48 watt range, and as mentioned, it has two active cooling fans. Port-wise, as we said earlier, the CCR2004 16G 2S Plus has 16 gigabit Ethernet ports and a pair of SFB Plus ports. They come together with an RJ45 serial console port and a Type-A USB 3. Also, it has monitors for its CPU temperature, PCB temperature, and voltage. Its certifications include CE, EAC, and ROHS, and its ingress protection code is IP20. By referring to the Support and Downloads tab on the same page, you can take a look at this hardware's block diagram. As you can see, each of its sets of full duplex 8 gigabit Ethernet ports are connected to the CPU by a Marvel switch chip while its two SFB Plus ports are separately and directly connected to its processor. Moreover, the two hot swap power supply units are connected to an integrated PSU failover, and the rest of the device's peripherals also have direct connections to the CPU. Microtech has dubbed this hardware as a beast that can handle a lot, and it has placed much emphasis on its single core performance. If we refer to the product brochure of this CCR2004, you can see that this router is taking on other Microtech routers, especially the two 1009 and 1016 series. Comparing, for example, the CCR1009 7G1CS Plus with the new CCR2004, you can see that the latter is performing admirably in a number of settings and configurations. Also, in terms of CPU and port arrangements, the two CCR2004 Ethernet routers have the upper hand. Compared to the CCR1009 series, the two CCR2004s use the more advanced 1.7 GHz ARM64 bit CPU, while the CCR1009s use the tile CPU architecture with a lesser frequency. As for their ports, you can see that the two CCR2004s can join forces and collectively offer a higher number of gigabit Ethernet ports. And while they do not have any SFB ports compared to the CCR1009 routers, the two CCR2004s easily compensate this issue by their larger number of SFB Plus ports 
as well as the pair of SFB28 ports found on the CCR2004 1G 12S Plus to XS. Similarly, when compared with the two CCR1016 routers, the CCR2004 devices have the upper hand with their 1.7 GHz ARM 64-bit CPUs and their collective number of gigabit Ethernet ports. Also, just like the previous situation, although the two CCR2004s do not have any SFB ports, they are well equipped with enough SFB Plus and SFB 20A ports when compared with the pair of CCR1016s. If we refer to the SFB compatibility list of our CCR2004 devices, the sufficiency of their port arrangements becomes even more obvious since all SFB Plus ports on both devices can be used in the 1G mode if required. In terms of test results, you can find the performance of the CCR2004 16G 2S Plus in different modes and configurations and of course based on different packet sizes. You should bear in mind that these values are the result of an all port test and will differ in various network designs and port usages. Also, you can review the IPsec test results of this device that are based on different modes, configurations and packet sizes. Just like our comparison with the CCR1009 device, we recommend that you compare the test results of this CCR2004 device with its CCR1016 counterparts. As previously mentioned, when choosing any networking device, you should ask yourself some important questions, starting with your internet usage. Are you just going to surf the net and check your emails or do you need something more? How many simultaneous active users do you think you'll have and what size and number of packets will be transmitted on your network? Also, what bandwidth are you receiving from your service provider? And quite importantly, will you require traffic encryption on your network? The CCR16G 2S Plus is a powerful device and it fits nicely in various types of network designs. As such, it can be used in various industries including WISPs and ISPs as well as managed IT service providers that deal with large numbers of users. Moreover, it is quite capable of handling large amounts of data securely and is thus quite suitable for surveillance service providers and data centers. Moreover, VoIP service providers and the education industry can also benefit from this router as they handle large numbers of simultaneous active users. Government organizations can also use this router in their networks as it provides high levels of security for network designs. Given this router's maximized uptime and its ability to handle large amounts of traffic, manufacturers, hotels, healthcare centers, agricultural sites, and the transportation industry can highly benefit from this router in countless IoT settings. Moreover, event organizers, campsites, and marinas can enjoy the performance of this device to provide high-speed internet connectivity for their customers. In terms of solutions, the CCR2004 16G 2S Plus is suitable for VPN configurations and dynamic routing, establishing hotspots, and conducting wireless controller and AAA activities. Also, thanks to its hardware acceleration support and traffic encryption, it's a proper device for firewall settings as well as network monitoring and DNS content filtering. And finally, this Cloud Core router can fulfill IoT projects, it can be used as a router as well as a switch, and it's available for white labeling projects. Thank you for watching. As always, send us your questions in the comments section and make sure you subscribe to our channel for upcoming hardware intros.